375,000 ton harvest is an 80,000 ton jump from the previous year and 20,000 tons more than the national requirement. Its impact is being felt across the entire value chain. It means that the issue of imports has been reduced and so as bakers we are happy that we are able to access flour locally. It means we've got more traders interested in selling bread because there is actually more bread. But from the baker's side it also means a lot of our small bakeries are also able to bake bread. Increased local wheat supplies have combined with other factors including reduced lending rates and improved foreign currency allocation to minimize bread price hikes. We've also had quite significant support from the central bank and that helps us to actually stabilize um, our pricing in terms of bread uh, because we can access foreign currency, we can access uh, fuel a, a whole lot better than what we were doing in previous years. Farmers say the bumper wheat harvest was down to three things. Number one, stable electricity supplies. Two, expanded irrigation capacity. And three, access to finance. In a bid to mitigate the supply shocks caused by the conflict in the Balkans, the primary source of wheat imports, the government allowed private players to finance more than a third of the 2022 crop. However, some farmers have bemoaned payment delays, an issue that requires redress in order to sustain production growth. But the reality on the ground is uh, farm, some farmers have not been paid. We needed also to look at uh, farmers receiving payment for their effort, rather receiving value for their effort, and that uh, value being reflected in the producer price but on, not only the producer price, but also in them being paid in full and on time. The government is building new dams to expand irrigation capacity and plans to increase mechanization in order to ramp up wheat production further. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.